Hey friends, Ryan Lestrange with the Monday Word. My Monday Word for you is when warnings show up in the night. You know, God can send you a warning through a prophetic dream. Sometimes people will say, well, why did I get the warning through a dream? Why, why didn't it come another way? Oftentimes we are so preoccupied with the busyness of life that we don't slow down long enough to hear what God is saying. Uh, one of the most profound warnings, uh, warning dreams rather in the Bible is concerning the birth of Jesus in Matthew 2 and verse number 12, speaking of the wise men and then of Joseph and Mary, said, and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. When they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. So the wise men have a dream. Now Joseph has a dream saying, arise, take the child and his mother and flee into Egypt. Why? Because the uh, the, uh, the word of the Lord came to Joseph saying, Herod is going to seek the young child to destroy him. So God can show you or give you a warning in a dream. Dreams can contain critical prophetic warnings for us. This is the Shamar dimension of the prophetic anointing. Shamar means to watch or to guard. God is watching over you. The Lord as the good shepherd is watching over you. Your spirit that's born again in the image of the likeness of God is hardwired to hear from God. So oftentimes warnings will come to you in the night season. And sometimes we have overlooked something, especially in relationships, because we get connected to people. We love people. We may not be discerning what's really going on. So a warning shows up in a dream. Let me tell you this. It's critical you pray over it. Now, some dreams you have are not warnings from God. This is why you've got to learn and study the difference between a flesh dream and a prophetic dream. But a true prophetic dream that is a warning can save your life. It can save your money. It can save your family. It can save your ministry. Make sure when you have a dream like this, you pray till you come to a place of peace. And understand this, when God is speaking, even if it's troubling, there's going to be peace in the midst of that dream. You're going to feel and sense the presence of the Lord. So make sure you steward your warnings. God, I thank you that we are surrendered to you. We're obedient to you. We love you. We walk with you. And God, I thank you in the authority of the name of Jesus that we discern warning dreams. We obey your instruction, your counsel, your guidance, and we are not distracted or uh, purpose aborted in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Amen.